All right, creating strings problem from the CSS problem set. So we're given a string, your task is to generate all different strings that can be created using its characters. The only input line has a string of length n, each character is between lowercase a and lowercase z. First, print an integer k, the number of strings, then print k lines, the strings in alphabetical order. And here we have that the constraints are uh, just about n essentially, which is the only variable we have. And it goes from one up until eight, okay? So for this input here, uh, we have 20 different strings. And this is the string that appears first in the alphabetical order. This one is the string that appears last in the alphabetical order. Okay, so here we can constructively create a solution or we can, or we can make use of the next permutation uh, function, uh, which is given in the STL, the standard template li library of C++. So, so let's look at the solution now. So here I'm just reading string X, so the only string that it's given to us. I sort this string from uh, the beginning until the end, okay, so that we get the string that appears first in the theoretical order. Here I have a vector which I call ans for answers, and this stores strings, which are the ans essentially the strings that we will be uh, outputting. Um, here I just push back the initial string, so the first appearing string in the alphabetical order. And then I have this while loop here. So let's uh, dissect this uh, while loop. So here I call this next permutation function, which I mentioned before. And what this function does is it returns uh, a true uh, value if there is an next permutation or a false value if there isn't, okay? And here I define the index S of the string uh, from which I want the next permutation, this next permutation function to be executed until which, uh, which index. So the beginning index and the last index, okay? Uh, and I call the function here, okay? So again, this will evaluate true if there is an next permutation and false if there is not. And it will also actually change uh, my string to that next permutation, okay? Uh, so after this, X will not remain the same as it was before. It will reach uh, the next state, okay? So the next permutation um, of this string, okay? And we, this makes sure that uh, you do not have any duplicates as well, okay? So um, it, it, it distinguishes between the characters, okay? Um, and doesn't label, uh, doesn't actually use the indexes. It uses the exact values of the characters. So you will not have duplicates after this, okay? Um, and then uh, I just push back the next state of the string, okay? So the next permutation essentially uh, to my answers vector, okay? So again, this next permutation function uh, dis distinguishes between permutations. So uh, it works with the actual values of the string. It will not work with the indexes again, okay? So again, you do not have to worry about duplicates. Uh, and that's the end of the uh, while loop here, okay? Then we simply output uh, the size of our answers vector, which uh, effectively will contain, uh, will be the, 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 the number of different strings that we have, okay? So the number of different uh, permutations. And then here I'm just using a for loop that goes from index zero up until the last index uh, that exists in my vector uh, of solutions, okay? And I output every single answer beginning from the first until the end one, until, until the last one, okay? And that's a pretty much the solution here. Uh, if you got stuck in this problem and this video helped you, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.